The stuff you don't know about to get rid of trauma. Right now, right here, how you're actually gonna let go of it. How it's actually gonna pass by. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard this idea of you gotta go back to the situation. You gotta replay it in your mind. You gotta relive it. You gotta re-experience it. You gotta play that scenario. Actually go there, make the visual image. And this is all true. This is all what you gotta do. But a lot of people don't know about what to do after that. They kind of just go into that place. They kind of just relive the moment and they just feel worse. And then it turns into a negative spiral where they're just thinking too much. They're getting more depressed. They're getting more upset. Whatever it is, you're getting more sad. You're getting more angry. You feel more hurt. And then, you know, afterwards, you're like, did I really do anything? Did I solve anything? Should I go see a therapist? Should I take drugs? Whatever it is you're thinking about doing. But I want to tell you, what is the next step? What are you supposed to do after that right now? Okay, so somebody hurt you, somebody wronged you, somebody did you wrong, somebody did you dirty, somebody took advantage of you, whatever it is, think about that scenario right now, go back to that place, I want you to go there with me right now, I want you to go into your deepest, darkest, most anxiety, depression, sadness, anger ridden pits, I want you to replay that scenario right now and I'm going to tell you what to do with it. Okay, if you have that thought in your mind right now, and if you're not, try to really think about something that's really hurt you, something that's really wronged you. We all have past trauma. We all have things that we hold on to. I want you, whatever it is you're holding on to, no matter how big, how little, how you know smart or dumb it is, whether it's somebody you know took the pizza that you wanted. I like pizza. I want that pizza. <laughs> but whatever it is, I want you to replay that scenario right now. I want you to go near your head. Start thinking your thoughts that you think when you go there. I want you to relive the situation as if you're there. How are you seeing it? How are you feeling it? How did it smell? Any kind of sense perceptions you can bring to it. And what I want you to do, while you're in that place, just go into your body. This is gonna sound a little weird, but what I want you to look for after you use your mind, you use your thoughts to take you into that place. I want you to go into your body and realize what it is that's really going on. Is And what it is that's really going on is how that situation makes you feel. I want you to really dive into how it makes you feel. I want you to zero in on it. I want there to only be you and the feeling until you guys, <laughs> sounds gonna sound weird, but until there only is just you. The thoughts only lead to more thoughts. It's as simple. I don't even think I need to explain that. Thoughts lead to more thoughts. Emotions can lead to more thoughts. And they could go in a loop where you uh, feeling could cause thoughts, thoughts could cause feelings, and they could go back and forth like that for on endlessly until you're just in some deep, dark, negative spiral pit. But what I'm trying to get you to do is zero in 100% of your focus on how you feel, how that situation makes you feel, and that's what I want you to try to let go of. I don't want you to let go of your thoughts, you know, your actions, what you've done, what they've done, and none of that, none of that. I don't want you to let go of any of that. Any thought you're having is irrelevant if you want to actually get to the root of the problem. Now, if you can learn to let go of the feeling and remove the feeling, then the thoughts associated with that feelings will just magically go away. You can literally get rid of thousands of thoughts just by doing this one simple technique. I'm trying to re-explain it, re-verbalize what I'm trying to explain here is that when you have a situation, a bad situation, a trauma, something that's wronged you in your life or just anything that you need to let go of, you know you need to let go of, it's hurting you, it's bringing you down, it's not empowering. What I want you to do is replay that scenario in your mind, do use your mind, use your thoughts, take yourself back there and then zero in on the way that situation is making you feel. I want there to be nothing but you and the feeling and if you can zero in on it don't try to depress it don't try to shove it down you need to accept it though don't go there and then be like get out of here feeling or you know go back down go away no I just want you just to embrace it to accept it to acknowledge the way that that situation makes you feel <sighs> That's kind of really it. If you can just accept it, if you can focus on it, if you can acknowledge it without attaching any thoughts to it, without 
you know, saying this is good or bad, just nothing. It's just, this is a feeling in my body. Here it is. And then there it goes. And then you can actually move on with it. Now, this isn't like a guaranteed technique. This is a real technique. These are real methods that real really work, but it's not a one-time thing. There's no real such thing as one-time things to a lot of things like this. Like you can have experiences when you're doing this. Like I had this one experience where honestly, I felt like I released just so much like it almost like like the feeling almost like bubbled in me and exploded out because I truly like I don't I tried doing this so many times and it's like I get lost in the thoughts and lost in the thoughts and lost in the thoughts and I only let go of it a little bit at a time and this you're gonna have to do it over and over and over again until you at least feel like you're free enough that you don't need to relive it on a daily basis but until you get to that point you will have to do it again and again and again But like, like I'm trying to explain though, is if you keep doing it, every time you do it, you're gonna get a little power back. You're gonna get a little bit more of your personal power, your pride, your integrity, your confidence, and it's just gonna hurt you less and less every time. And when you know that you've really completed the task and that you really have accomplished what you're trying to do and you let it go, is when you can go back there and you can relive the situation and it doesn't make you feel the same way it used to. You don't have to react to it. You can just accept it as a situation that happened in your past. But first you need to accept the way it's making you feel. That's what's hiding you. That's where you're running from. You may not know it, you may not know it, but your thoughts are just running away from the way you feel about the situation. All those thoughts that want to pop in your head, they're just trying to distract you from the way you feel because it doesn't want you to realize that doesn't want you to embrace it because it's protecting you it doesn't want you to get hurt but the only way you can deal with it the only way you can release that emotional trauma is to embrace the emotion itself 100 percent accept it for what it is and just let it go and as i try to say to just let it go it really just comes from just being there not making this a part of who you are not making it that it has to bring you down it's just this is just an emotion in me here it is well there it goes it sounds so weird but it kind of really is like that and once you can just clear all those thoughts because you will probably get lost in your thoughts that you're trying to do this because you're going to a situation that makes you think of bad thoughts and those thoughts are going to keep coming up and they're going to keep coming up and they're going to keep coming up but if you can clear your mind and zero in on that feeling without any judgment towards it that's a good word dude. without any judgment any regret any resentment any grief any guilt if you can just zero in on how it really made you feel i mean even if that feeling is guilt even if that is what you're feeling but just zero in on that don't attach more guilt to it don't attach more resentment to it don't attach any blame to it just accept that my body feels this way right now this is how this situation made my body feel my mind is trying to think so that I don't address how it's actually making me feel. But addressing how it makes me feel is the only way I'm going to get rid of it. If I can accept it as it's just a part of the human experience, then I can move on from it. And once I move on from it, all these thoughts associated will start fading away and they won't hold as much power over me. Have a nice day and let go of your trauma. Try this, try it, try it. You're not gonna get it right away. It's not gonna happen all at once and you're gonna have to do it over and over and over and over again. But once you learn how it works, it's so rewarding, it's so just revitalizing. It returns so much personal power because we all hold on to things. We all have so much trauma. Every single one of us has so much we need to let go of because it's just ruining our lives to just keep replaying those situations and going back there every single day. So if you are gonna replay the situations, you are gonna go back there. How about you at least change your focus from the thoughts to the feelings, address the problem, and at least every time you go back there, it will feel a little bit better. It'll feel a little bit less worse until at some point you won't even feel anything. You may not even go there anymore. This is our world shifted where my words are instructions. Have a nice day.